Before the video starts, if you are tired of grinding badges, make sure you hit up my boy Sports TMB. The link to his Twitter will be in the description. Tell him that I sent you and he will hook you up. You'll get your badges in a few days and you'll be good to go. Also, if you're looking to sell your account or buy a new account, he does account selling as well. So make sure you hit him up, tell him that I sent you and he'll take care of you. What's going on, y'all? I want to talk to you guys about three builds that are just overpowered and they're going to give you the best chance to win in the stage. You guys always ask me. How do you win VC? How do you get VC? Do you buy VC? I don't buy VC, bro. When I need VC, I go to the stage. Right now, I only have about 80K, I think. But that's because, look it. I just maxed out. I maxed out this post score here to 90 overall. I maxed out. Not maxed out, but I upgraded this player from like a 65 to an 85. And I maxed this player out from a 60 to a 75. So I spent like a good three, 400,000 VC recently. But listen, if you need VC, these builds are going to give you the best chance to win VC. So let's get right into what these builds are so that you guys can start using them and start winning more consistently at the stage. All right, so now we're talking about three on three builds, okay? Not 2v2, not 1v1 court. We're talking about three on three. What are the three builds you're going to want to have on your team to give you the best chance to win? Obviously, it doesn't guarantee victories. You still got to be good at the game, but you'll win more often if you use the, uh, these three builds, I promise you. Now, the first one you see here is a sharpshooting playmaker or a sharpshooting point forward. Anytime you see my stage gameplays, I'm always running with either a sharpshooting playmaker or a sharpshooting point forward at the point guard. There's a few reasons why. Now for the height, you can go between 6'5 and 6'7. Anywhere in between there, you're good. Just depends on what you'd rather have, a little more quickness or a little more size, okay? Now, a few reasons why. You see the attributes here, whatever. There's nothing really to see here except for the fact that obviously you can shoot threes and you can speed boost. Those are the two big things. You need that at the point guard position, whether, like I said, whether it's a point forward or a sharpshooting uh, or a sharpshooting playmaker. The badges here, you obviously get that ankle breaker gold and with boosted ball handling, you're going to catch ankles all the time, which is going to give you the ability to use your, your limitless range, your difficult shots, all those things. Also, this build gets to the basket very well and finishes around the basket very well. So this is one of the best builds to have. In my opinion, it's the best build to have as a point guard in the stage because you can three out and it's really, really tough to guard. At the shooting guard position or the two position, whatever you want to call it in the stage, you're going to want to have a sharp shooting defender. Now, listen to the reasons why before you guys jump all over me. Now, in my opinion, three shooter lineup is the best lineup to run in the stage. It's the toughest to guard because you have to be out on the three point line for everyone. You can wrap, you can cut, you can still run three out, you can still run pick and roll, you can do all that stuff. Now, a sharpshooting defender, mine's only a 75, but I've played against this build so many times in the stage, and it is a problem. Reasons being, he can still shoot. Now you have somebody to deal with that speed boosting player that the other team is going to have. It's guaranteed the other team is going to have a speed boosting player if they know what they're doing, unless they're running two sharps and a glass, which is a decent lineup, but it's pretty easy to guard. Most teams are going to run with a speed boosting player, whether it's a point forward, a playmaker, whatever. This player, we're going to look at these badges real quick, goal defensive stopper. That's going to help him from stop getting, you know, stop getting broken so much. He's also going to get gold pickpocket, which is going to allow him to get a few steals that normally you wouldn't be able to get without these defensive badges. At the same time, you still get silver rim protector too, which is going to help you stop interior shots, obviously, against, especially against the point guard if he gets into the paint. And then you also get your silver shooting badges, which is going to allow you to definitely shoot from the corner and even shoot from limitless, especially when you get that flame next to your name. The ratings on this guy <clears throat> maxed out three pointer you're getting a 74 once i get that last little bar you're gonna get a 75 about depending on your wingspan three pointer and obviously your defensive ratings are are going to be very very good high 80s for most of them once you max them out obviously i didn't do that on this guy because i wanted to keep him a 75 overall but also with this build the athleticism you get because your def your primary is defending you're going to get a ton of rebounds um over that two position a lot of people run a pure sharp at the two position a lot of the time you're going to be able to snag over that guy because you're so much more athletic let's look at it you get a 70 vertical if you max it out and your rebounding goes all the way up to a 72 which you're going to be able to snag over whatever they have a 6-5 pure sharp or whatever they're running at the two position majority of the time you're going to be able to snag over him 
on the uh, you know on the offensive end, especially if your guard misses a three, you're going to be able to run down there and snag. So it's a very very valuable thing to have at the two position. And finally, at the center position, this is my opinion: the best position to have at the center in the stage is a pure stretch. Now listen to the reasons why. It also goes so perfectly with that lineup. First of all, if you're a pure stretch, if even if they have a glass cleaner, he's going to have to come on a three point line to guard you. That allows your lockdown to rebound over their pure stretch or their pure sharp or whatever they have at the two position. Your lockdown is going to be bigger, whether you have a six, seven lockdown or six, 10 lockdown, whatever he's going to be bigger, right? The, the pure stretch is going to make that that center on the other team come out on the perimeter, which leaves it to be a one V one battle down low between the two position, which is good for you guys. Obviously, you know, the ratings, you know, you're getting a high ass three pointer and all that stuff. You're still seven between whatever you made them seven, one, seven, two, seven, three, you're still going to have to rebound pretty well because of the size. Obviously, the badges. Now, the only thing I would say that you could use instead of the stretch would be a rebounding stretch. That way, you get a little bit more rebounding so you can deal with, you know, if they have a glass cleaner or something, you could deal with them a little bit better. But as long as you have position and you're running a sharpshooting playmaker, a sharpshooting lockdown, and a pure stretch, you're going to get boards. You guys are a pretty big team. Rebounding really shouldn't be a problem. You're going to have good defense because you're all pretty tall and obviously that lockdown can deal with any speed boosting player on the other team and obviously as a stretch you can shoot all the way back to half court it's going to be a great lineup for you guys you're going to win a lot of vc i promise you as long as obviously you guys are playing smart and you have some skill on the game but this is the best lineup man a sharpshooting playmaker or a point forward a sharpshooting lockdown and a pure stretch these three builds are going to win you vc if you want to try it out I would highly, highly recommend it, bro. It's a great, great lineup. I've played against it and I've played with it. It is a great lineup. When you're playing against it, it's a problem because the person that usually handles the ball from you is now going against somebody who has gold defensive badges. But that person who is a defender is not only good defensively, they can also shoot on the offensive end. So you can't just leave them alone. It's, it's not like they're a liability. They can still shoot. And their athleticism, they get to the basket. They can really do it all. So it's just a really, really difficult lineup to play against. And when you're playing with it, it's really, really good. So I highly recommend you try it out. If it does help you in VC, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm out.